everybody thinks they're gonna get a chance to punch some Nazi in the face at Normandy. I used to think I was gonna get a chance to do it. Now I realize I'm gonna be even jello. Come on, uh, we're men, we're not pinatas. Woo! And we're live. Welcome, folks, to the American Movie Podcast. If you've never been here before, do not forget to subscribe. I go through movies, docu-series, especially ones like this one. And I love, I live for docu-series like this that have like either um, religiosity or cult followings. I live for this. So this is Wild, Wild Country. And Wild, Wild Country is about this uh, Indian sect that is led by this Indian guru he moves from India, who he used to be a hypnotist, and moves to Antelope, Ontario, or Oregon, rather. And they they amass this 64,000-acre ranch. They buy it, and then they bring 150 people into this ranch. It is the most elaborate uh, construction I've seen. And so it's it's so eerie. This was such a eerie show. So they have this 164,000 uh, acre ranch and then they just amass this humongous cult inside of this area. Okay. And what is the kicker and makes it the most eerie is that they all wear maroon. Everybody wears maroon. Okay. So if you're on YouTube, I'm going to start playing the, so they all wear maroon and it's kind of, it's definitely an Eastern influence. So it's based upon Kundalini and meditation and deep breathing. So people in the 1960s, this is when this takes place or 19, 1960s and 1985, I believe is when this all took fruition. So people, or it was 1981 to 1985 rather. So people didn't know what to even expect. There was no information really relevant to or they had access to to this eastern culture and then chaos occurs okay so it's all of this free love compassion generosity and uh it starts to cause friction within the town folk that are uh adjacent to them adjacent so it's antelope so antelope sees that they're uh, pretty much not following Christianity values, so monogamy. So they're not doing that. So, And then there's other things that just happen to like just cross each other's uh, group. So it's so mesmerizing to watch this. I loved this series. So they become a city. They need 150 people, so they become the city of Rajneesh. Rajneesh. And so then they get a police department. Then they get a shopping mall. Then they get a fire department. Then they get an airport. So with the access of having a police, so they pretty much go within the structure and kind of um, pose as a city. So they go within the guidelines and abide by the law up until there's uh, news of embezzlement and attempted murder and all kinds of or an arson. So until that happens, they're pretty much hunky dory and they're just uh, causing friction in between these two um, towns. So it is the craziest thing in the world. So they end up just the episode two is just, I was even blown away at episode two and there's six episodes. So they just create this cult and city, the city that is just so elaborate. And it, they took the best minds that were inside of this cult following and just created this city. And it was just just episode two by itself is just worthy of so much reverence to me. So I was just blown away at this man. It was so crazy. So they, so they got, they go within the guidelines of it. And that's what is so weird about it because then you, it will set precedence on if the federal government has to shut these people down They're it kind of infringes on constitutional rights and it'll set precedent on other things. So like there was this huge, quirky, um, chaotic uh, circumstances put involved in between all of these residents of these adjacent towns. And it was just so, it was just madness. I was just blown away. So I highly, it's a six part docu-series. So I highly, highly recommend you check it out. Even if you don't want to watch six of them, it does run long. I'll give you that. It runs really, really long, and it's a there. This it's a five year story, so and they give you the um, like the pubescent stage of this guy as well. So he's like very young. He's in Indiana, blah 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 blah, and then how it comes into flourishing against the town of Antelope. So it's just so. I was mind blown. 
I was mind blown. So even if you just want to check out episode two, I would check out episode two. And it was just, it was insanity. It was insanity. And I loved it. So let me know what you thought of this docuseries down in the comment section down below. And if you want to support the podcast, please review us on iTunes and subscribe to us on iTunes. Share us on your own blog or podcast. Um, also, if you want to start your very own podcast, go to socialcreative.org forward slash podcast. I created the podcast podcast publisher and uh, it's everything you'd ever need to know in order to start your very own podcast. So check that out. Also, um, links in the descriptions, uh, descriptiones. So it's also brought to you by foreverlean.com. You can go there and you can get fat loss workout programs and muscle building programs. They are amazing. So check those out as well. Um, also brought to you by Audible. Go to audibletrial.com forward slash American. You get two free audiobooks with no charge to you. You can cancel the subscription at any time with no charge. Um, so yeah, check that out. Love Audible. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching and listening, guys. I deeply, deeply appreciate it. Do not hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe and let me know in the comment section down below what you thought of wild, wild country. See you, folks. Bye, 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 bye. Round one. Come on. Oh, whoa, hey. Come on. Come on. Come on, Kelly. Everybody thinks they're going to get a chance to punch some Nazi in the face at Normandy. I used to think I was going to get a chance to do it. Now I realize I'm going to be eating jello. Come on, we're men.